<gasps> it's an 8110! So, this is something that a modder named Wade Mitchell has actually been working on. It's uh, my John Deere 8110 in real life. If you guys don't know, uh, I farm in real life. Just started farming last year and have a whole separate YouTube channel on that. And so this is the first tractor I ever purchased. A 2001 John Deere 8110 with... 4,900 hours. It's got like 5,200 hours now because we put a lot of hours on this puppy. But um, the dirt bike on the front is from just one video where I, it's tough to get around because I'm by myself most of the time. Sometimes the Spencer's not there, I'm by myself. And I just toss the dirt bike up and get around. Unfortunately, I tossed it up, got it off the tractor, and it had two flat tires. And I was screwed. We not only have one flat tire, but we have two flat tires. But other than that, it works pretty good. But this mod is available and it's down in the download link. Uh, description below, it'll probably take you to Wade's Facebook page or his website. It's a public mod, you can get it on PC. I don't think you can get it on Xbox or PS4. Um, that's one thing that I don't think it's available on. So it's gonna have options for fenders, for weights. You can take the dirt bike off, obviously. Um, and you can take off like all the weights, you can put a rock box on and then you can put on like 600 pounds worth of weights. I think right here is 1200 pounds worth of weights. I'm not totally sure. You can add rear weights to it. You can get Green Star come stock with it. So the Green Star Globe. And then there's also a 2630 on the inside that just comes stock with it. Um, it's just for Lux up there and stuff, but this is pretty cool. Oh, we're missing the buddy seat, Wade. Gosh, darn it. No, I'm joking. Um, no, heck of a job on this. Three point, it's got four SCVs on the back. It's got your big thousand PTO. Um, it's got your hammer strap. It's pretty much identical. Like he even put on, uh, it's got fenders. So mine came stock with these fenders. And at first when I bought the tractor, I was like, ah, I don't really like those fenders. Now those fenders are really nice looking. I, 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 I It's nice, especially when you get into mud and stuff. You're not flipping mud all over the windshield. But no, this is awesome. Pretty much the perfect tractor. It only comes stock in 8110. You can't get like 8210, 8310, or 8410 um, on this tractor. When you buy this tractor in store, it's gonna come in a medium tractor. It's gonna come like this, stock. You can add your fender options, no fenders. And then you can add your weight brackets. You put no weights, uh, 500 kilograms, 900 kilograms, or the bike. I might have something come special coming for this bike to take it even further. We'll see here. Or you can go full weight, or you can go full weights, or you can go the rock box. The rock pro the rock box honestly looks really good on this tractor. It'd be cool if you could actually like you know pick up rocks and put them in there. Um, anyways, you can go fire firestone singles. You can add the weights on the singles, and then you can go duels without weights. And it doesn't even it doesn't have an inner weight either. Or you can go duels with full weights weighted out like that. So it's a pretty simple tractor, works good, goes 24 mile an hour top speed. That's what the tractor does in real life. Uh, weight 13.4 tons times two, because a ton is 2,000 pounds. It's like 26,000 pounds. I think I weighed in at 23,000 pounds, so that's pretty, pretty darn close. It is a power shift, and that's one of the coolest things about it. So when we started up, sounds really good. Um, and it's a 16 speed power shift. So I have manual transmission on, you can see in the bottom right hand corner, that's manual trans trans transmission. So first gear, shift, shift, shift. Flashers, all flashers work. Flashers even fold in. And then we got lights all across the top. you but this is what's cool um so 14th gear 14 mile at 13 13 mile an hour 15th gear goes to 17 mile an hour just like it does in real life then you hit 16th gear hits road gear if you've ever driven one of these tractors when you hit road gear like they kind of wind up you'll hear it go here yep kind of winds up to road gear so we got the grain train we got the bike on the front this is gonna be awesome. I'm gonna try and do some type of series on this tractor in the future. Um, obviously right now on our farming series, we're in the 1970s. So eventually we'll probably go up to, you know, the 2000s eventually. And that's when I'll use this tractor. Or if you guys want, maybe I'll do a series just starting right now, starting from scratch too. 
Gotta get a planter and fuel cultivator though, which I don't think is in FS22. This is just, this makes my day here. This is pretty cool seeing this. Oh, the stepbrother, the John Deere 8400 sitting back there. What's also kind of cool is you can, you can downshift, so if you're hauling a big load of grain in the back, you're going to want to kind of downshift and use the transmission to kind of help your braking. With this in all 16th gears, you can really downshift and it's going to, it's going to stop that load back there from pushing you. Well, I got to say thanks to Wade for making this, and if anybody wants to use it, uh, link's going to be down below. Hopefully you guys enjoy using this mod and playing around with it. Uh, I think it's going to be good. It'd be also cool to see like an 8210, 8310, and 8410 like pack come out too. I think that'd be pretty cool, but hey, down below is the mod link to it if you guys want to check it out. And uh, yeah, thanks for Wade for making this, and, uh, and thanks for watching, guys. Really appreciate it. Sorry it was kind of a shorter one, but just want to give an overview of the 8110. Thanks for watching, guys.